Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, this vlog. It's about how to do a keto diet while you are traveling. And I'm traveling international, going to Montebay, Jamaica for three day shoots. I'll be away. So I'm gonna show you some stuff. Uh, traveling like this has been a little tough because I haven't had my butter yet with coffee, which is what I'm really used to. And it's like almost 11 o'clock. So I grabbed some almonds from my flight and I'm gonna eat that instead right now. And I'll show you what I do. I'll see you in Jamaica. So I just got here in Jamaica and it's pretty cool. I think it's actually pronounced Montego. So it's Montego, Jamaica. It's around 3.30 p.m. And I had this little chicken salad actually. It was really small and some coffee. So I had about five cups of coffee today and I'm gonna get to the hotel. I'm gonna actually do a quick workout real quick because I know that helps reduce the jet lag, helps to like reset the circadian rhythms. And even though there's no time difference really, I just want to get into the habit of actually doing that. So when I travel more and there is a time difference that I go do it right there, it's like a habit. And then I'll get something to eat and then maybe I'll enjoy it myself and you'll see. I'm at my resort. It is freaking gorgeous if you can't see it. And it's around 4.30. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just check in. I'm going to get a light snack from the room service and get something to eat real quick before I go to the gym and then wait a couple hours and then have a big meal with one of my castmates that I just met downstairs. And let's go into the room. I think it's 23 through 4. It's just gorgeous. Hope you guys can see that. All right, so the burger finally came in. And since obviously doing the keto, get rid of this. Get rid of this. Definitely need this. You would still want to keep track of what you eat technically because you can gain weight on the keto diet. You can gain fat by eating too much protein, too much fat. I mean, it's a lot more difficult because proteins, fats, keep you satiated. What that means is it keeps you fuller longer because it takes longer to digest. So what I recommend doing is figuring out how much protein you need. And what I like to do is use my palm when I go out. <clears throat> and when I'm at a resort or on shoot or on set for like a week because you don't want to whip out your MyFitnessPal every single time probably. So keep track of this. A, a palm, and when I mean a palm, I mean covering from here, your palm, not including your fingertips, is about 30 grams of protein, whatever meat it is. So this meat right here, I washed my hands before I did this. <laughs> so if I put the burger all on my hand, it fits into my palm and that's about 30 to 40 grams of protein. Um, I know I took a bite and stuff and there's bacon on there and you can keep track. So I need 150 grams of protein, that's five palmfuls. I had a chicken, s chicken salad earlier on the plane. So that was about two palmfuls that I've had of protein today. And that's about 60 to 70 grams of protein. I'm gonna just say 70 to 80 just because there's there's bacon on there and I had almonds. And don't forget, even when you get protein from other sources like almonds or beans, it still counts as your protein intake. That's what sometimes a mistake people make when they're counting their protein or food or tracking macros and stuff. And then the thumb is around 10 grams of fat. It's like 10 or 11. And what's great about this is measuring it by your hand and your palm it's usually equal to the person's size in their body anyway. And you could be a little off, obviously, you're gonna have to adjust, but you're on vacation or you're away, and it's just the easiest, best way to track things while you're out doing things. 
that's what I find at least whenever I'm going out. I can usually eyeball it, or if I'm away for three or four days, I'm already in pretty good shape, so I don't really need, to, if I go up a little bit, I know how to come down really uh, efficiently that next week and lose all the water weight and the salt and the sodium and just maybe lose a pound of fat that one week. That's the best tracking method that I can offer you right now. I mean, it's better than carrying out a weight scale with you all the time, right? So it'd be kind of weird if I was at a restaurant and I just whipped out a weight scale. I mean, some people do do that. I personally am not that strict. I don't feel like carrying a weight scale with me through customs and in my bag and then taking it with me all over the restaurants and taking it out and say, hey, no, I don't want that protein, I don't want that. Um, I think that's a pain in the butt. I mean, you're here to live. You, know, you, want, you don't want to serve your body. You want your body to serve you. And you become a slave, basically, to fitness and losing body fat that way. And trust me, I used to be that way. When I was competing, I couldn't go out because I couldn't weigh my food then. And it's, it was miserable. And that's all I could do is focus on food. And lo and behold, when you, I, I mean, I got my results, but the thing is I couldn't maintain it. And I was figuring out a sustainable way to make this a lifestyle and fit into my needs, and which is what I did now. And so use the palm method whenever you go out. So my friend, who's also my castmate, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Ashika Westgard. <laughs> she convinced me to not go to the gym. Don't go to the gym, let's go to the beach. <laughs> Go to the beach, go to the pool. The whole point of actually working out or doing some type of cardio after you're done uh, coming off the flight is to actually just reset your circadian rhythm. About 15 or 20 minutes of exercise, even swimming will do, so this will still count as exercise, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so will the beach. <laughs> it's 3.30 call time, but before we just need to have dinner, we just so you know who we're talking about Me. when I say we. <laughs> First round is clam chowder, lobster clam chowder. Then I got a fish. Then what else did I get? Salad. Salad. Your greens. My greens. <laughs> and this is the world's tiniest salad. Look how small it is compared to a roll. That's how big <laughs> this is. This I looks great. I'm actually really surprised. I am so surprised. This is, I don't think I can finish this. Hello. And then, I got the catch on this side. Ooh. Apparently this is how you debone a fish. <laughs> See, I was a fisherman back in the day. Really? And yeah. I got scouted and that's how I ended up getting on this job. <laughs> Isn't that sexy, guys? Got my bow. Whoa! <laughs> An earring. That's amazing. I'm actually really shocked about that. Oh man, I am tired more than full. Actually, I feel very satisfied. I didn't go over my fats or I didn't have any carbs, especially whole grain carbs today. Going back to the ketogenic diet. The ketogenic diet I find is easier to maintain and be on when I'm traveling right now than I thought because obviously all I have to say is no to the free ice cream and desserts. Yes, that's a little painful. The thing is though, there's plenty of other proteins and fats that I can eat too, like such as the uh, fish, the whole fish as well. The lobster, I had the lobster bisque. I didn't eat the soupy part. It was a little bit too creamy and I'm sure there's tons of carbs in there. And that's the thing too, this is what I don't enjoy about the ketogenic dietary truth is that you have to say no to other stuff. Whereas when it's flexible with intermittent fasting as well, you don't need to worry about that stuff. If anything, it becomes more fun when I'm doing flexible dieting. Like I'm like, ooh, what can I eat today that fits my macros? And that becomes enjoyable, especially when you get results. With ketogenic diet, not having that much fun with it, to tell you the truth. It's a lot of, oh, I can't eat that. You do some weird shit, like take the buns off the burger all the time. Um, and I'm kind of just over it. Like there's, there was like this ice cream smoothie thing and I wanted to just grab a free ice cream, like uh, just like, just once. So I was going through some of that. And other than that though, I mean, I'm still shedding weight. I think a little bit of it's muscle probably. I didn't get the weight train, but I was swimming in the ocean for at least 20 minutes. And it was really good, I had a good time. All right guys, here's the thing. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know if you wanna see more of these 
vlogs that I'm doing, especially on ketogenic diets, intermittent fasting, and flexible dieting, or just dieting in general. And you can take the free body design tool. The link is above. Part of my muscle and strength programs are intermittent fasting, and it can guide you to one of my customized programs for you to lose body fat, gain muscle. It's all in there for you. And just take the free tool. It'll get you to that program. Anyway, good night. Got to get up in a few hours. I'll see you next week.